Thank you for watching this class. Hoy vamos a aprender a conocer diferentes tipos de casas y vamos a conocer las partes de la casa, qué hay en cada parte de la casa, lo que hay en la cocina, lo que hay en el balcón, lo que hay en el ático o como le decimos los latinos en el cuarto de los regueros, lo que hay en la marquesina, lo que hay en el cuarto de lavado y así sucesivamente. Bien, para ello vamos a ver los diferentes tipos y clases de ítems que hay en cada departamento. Ok, vamos también a conocer el uso de there is, there is, en singular para decir que hay, y there are, en plural, para decir que hay. Hay, en el singular, there is one car, there are two cars. There is, en singular, there are, en plural, ¿ok? Y vamos también a ver los colores en el día de hoy, como decir, la tonalidad de los diferentes colores, light, para decir que es claro, dark, para decir que es oscuro, dark, light, green, verde claro, light, light green, verde claro, dark, green, verde oscuro, ¿ok? Let's continue. Parts of the house. Parts of the house. Living room. Para la sala. Dining room. Para el comedor. Kitchen. La cocina. Eric. O ático. Garage. Balcony. Basement. Balcony, balcón. Balcony, balcón. Basement. Sótano. Balcony, balcón. Basement, sótano. Si es el patio de atrás, decimos backyard. Backyard. Si es el patio al frente, al frente también se dice patio. Decimos front yard. El patio del frente. Room. Habitación, cuarto. Bedroom. Dormitorio. Bath room. Bath, con Z, bathroom. Para la casa, si es un lugar público en la calle o un establecimiento comercial, decimos rest room. Rest room, así es como se dice baño público. Elevator. Floor, hablando de floor, piso, para hablar de pisos usamos los números ordinales, ordinal numbers, que ya eso tú lo viste, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, y así sucesivamente, para el primer piso, o para el piso de abajo del suelo, Decimos ground, ground, se usa ground floor, el primer piso, first floor, segundo piso, second floor, tercer piso, third floor, cuarto piso, fourth, fourth floor, así se enumeran los pisos. Para hablar de, 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 de primer piso, segundo piso, usamos los números ordinales que tú estás supuesto a saber de lo de memoria. Repeat, ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. Estoy hablando de pisos, ¿ok? Laundry room. 
el cuarto de lavado, laundry room. Lobby is the reception. That's the lobby. Reception. That's the lobby. The reception. If you go to the hotel, you wait sitting down in the lobby. Okay? Now let's see what's in the bedroom. Bedroom. Master room. Habitación principal, podemos decir master room or main room. Es lo mismo como quiera. You say master room or main room. Okay? In the room there is a dresser. Dresser. Closet. Lamp. Pillow. Blanket, in singular, blankets, in plural. Shoes, sneakers, también hay curtains, and heels. Okay, let's repeat. Bedroom, master room, main room, dresser, closet, lamp, pillow, blanket, blankets, shoes, sneakers, curtains, heels. Si son altos, decimos high heels. Si son bajitos, heels. Okay, let's see what's in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Tenemos stove, refrigerator, refrigerator, también puede decir fridge. Para no decir esto tan largo, fridge, es la forma abreviada de hablar de refrigerator. Oven, microwave, we have spoons, forks, in singular spoon, fork, in singular forks in plural, Knife, knife in singular, knives in plural, este es un plural irregular que al, por, al poner su forma plural cambia la palabra, por eso, y por eso se llama irregular, que lo vamos a ver en la clase próxima. Sink, ok, sink, si hablamos de la cocina es fregadero. Si hablamos del baño es lavamano. Both of them, they are equal. Sink in the bathroom, lavamanos. Sink in the kitchen, fregadero. That's the difference, okay? Repeat, in the kitchen. In the kitchen, en la cocina. Stuff, stuff. Refrigerator, fridge. Oven, microwave, spoon, spoons. Fork. Forks, knife, knives, sink, dish in singular, dish in singular, dishes in plural, cabinet, cabinet, in the bathroom. In the bathroom, we have soap, bathtub, o oh, sencillamente podemos decir top, en la abreviatura de bathtub, 
Bathco, Meter, Shower, Toilet, Towel, Hen, Towel. Aquí no dicen towel, dicen towel. Eliminando la E. Towel. Like this. Towel. 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 Hand towel. Para la toalla pequeña. Okay, let's repeat. In the bathroom. Soap. Bathtub. Top. Mirror. Shower. Toilet, towel, hand towel, sink. Aquí hablando de baño, ya saben lo que es. En diferencia, así es en la cocina. Keep it in mind. Now let's see these prepositions. Prepositions. Prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Posiciones de lugar. In, adentro, on, arriba, over, por encima, referente a la cabeza. In front of, in front of, al frente de. Behind. Pueden escuchar behind o pueden escuchar behind. Both of those, both of those pronunciations, they are the same. Behind or behind. Behind or it's equal in the back of. In the back of. It is equal. If you say behind or in the back of. There is a restaurant in the back of of my house. There is a restaurant behind my house. Okay? It is equal. Under. Debajo. Let's repeat. Prepositions of place. In, on, over, in front of, behind, behind, in the back of. Under. Okay, for example, the marker is in my pocket. The pencil is on the table. The cat is in front of the desk. The cat is in front of the sofa. The cat is in front of the table. Behind. The board is behind me. The board is behind me. Okay, now let's see what's in the living room, what's in the kitchen, what's in the bathroom. Okay. Couch. Sofa. Both of them, they are furniture. Couch, mirálo aquí. Sofa, mirálo aquí. Both of them, they are furniture. Referente al juego de guantes. Table. Armchair. Armchair. Radio. You can say stereo too. Stereo. Stereo. Curtains. Curtains. Picture in singular. Pictures in plural. Clock. Shelf in singular. In plural, we say shelves. 
shells, in plural. Este es un plural irregular. En la próxima clase vamos a ver ese tema. Plurales regulares, plurales irregulares. Vamos a ver también cómo preguntar cuando tenemos el verbo be, cómo preguntar cuando no tenemos el verbo be. Shelf, shelves. Flowers, flower, what? ¿Ok? Estas son de las cosas principales que puede haber en el living room, en la sala. Let's repeat. Living room, couch, sofa, furniture, table, armchair, radio, stereo, curtain. Aquí no dicen curtains, no, curtains, repeat, curtains, picture, pictures, clock, shelf, shelves, flowers, flower pot. There is, there are, in plural, there is, The person A says, there are, there is a fridge in my house. There is a fridge in my house. Si hay una. Si hubieran dos, dijéramos, there are two Aquí podemos decir one también, one, hablando de cantidad. There is one fridge in my house. There are two fridges, fridges in my house. There is in singular, there are in plural. Negativo, decimos there isn't. Es lo mismo decir there is not. Recuerda cuando decíamos he is not, he isn't, she is not. She isn't. It is not. It isn't. Y al decir con R, te decíamos, you are not. You aren't. They are not. They aren't. We are not. We aren't. Do you remember? Aquí también hacemos lo mismo. There is one car in my house. Aquí viene lo negativo. But, es negativo, pero. But, There isn't. Recuerda que isn't es is not. But there isn't, or there is not, tú puedes decir, there isn't, there is not. But there is not a garage. There is a car in my house, but there isn't a garage. There is a car in my house, but there is not a garage. Mira este escenario también. There is, en singular, que sí, there is a garage in my house. There is a garage in my house, but negativo but there isn't a car there is a garage in my house but there isn't a car you see let's repeat there is one fridge in my house there are two fridges in my house There is one car in my house, but there isn't a garage. There is one car in my house, but there is not a garage. There is a garage in my house, but there isn't a car. There is, a co there is one car in my house, 
Hay un carro en casa, pero no hay garaje. Hay un garaje en casa, pero no hay carro. ¿Ok? Let's continue. There is a garden in the yard, yard or backyard, si es el de atrás, front yard, si es el de adelante. There is a garden, jardín. There is a garden in the yard, but there aren't. There aren't. Are not. Aren't. But there aren't, pero no hay en plural, flowers. Hay un jardín en el patio, pero no hay flores. There is a garden in the yard, but there aren't flowers. There is in singular. There are in negativo en plural. But there are in flowers. Vamos a aclararte un poco más la mente. Let's clear your head. There is. Affirmative. There is in singular. There are. In plural. Affirmative. Negative. There isn't. In singular, there aren't in plural. Okay? Interrogative. 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 Recuerdan cuando, vea, cuando hablábamos del verbo be, que decíamos que para preguntar con el verbo be, solamente teníamos que poner el verbo be adelante y ya estábamos preguntando. Bien, entonces aquí decimos there is en singular. Para preguntar solamente ponemos el verbo be adelante y ya estamos preguntando. Is there, para pregunta y con su tono de pregunta, is there a garage? Is there a garage? ¿Hay, hay garaje? ¿Hay banquecina? Si lo hay, decimos yes, there is. Yes, there is. Is there a garage? Yes, there is. Is there a garage? Si fuera negativo, decimos no, there isn't. Si te preguntan en singular, responde en singular. Si te preguntan en plural, responde en plural. Así. Are there flowers? Are there flowers? Si la hay, yes, there are. Yes, there are. Si no la hay, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay, now let's repeat before erasing, okay? There is a garden in the yard, but there aren't flowers. There is, there are, there isn't, there aren't. Affirmative, there is, there are. Affirmative, there is in plural. Affirmative, there is and there are in singular. Singular. Negative, there isn't, there aren't. Affirmative, there is for singular there are for plural negative there isn't for singular for singular there aren't for plural interrogative is there is there for singular are there lo voy a poner aquí are there for plural for plural 
that is interrogative. Is there, para preguntar en singular, hay. Are there, para plural, hay. Let's repeat. There is a garden in the yard, but there aren't, there aren't flowers. Affirmative, there is, singular. There are, plural. Negative, negativo. There isn't, no hay. There aren't, no hay, pero para plural. Interrogative. Is there a garage? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Is there, singular. Are there, plural. Are there flowers? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay? Okay, now let's see this, this simulation of a letter. Vamos a ver el simulacro de una carta. Okay? Dear Chris. I bought a beautiful I bought a beautiful house There is a garage and there are and there are beautiful flowers in the garden there are two living rooms and there is a sofa There is, there is a bathroom, there is a bathroom, but there isn't, there isn't tough. There are two kitchens two kitchens but there aren't microwave tell me about your house Tell me about your house. Is it big? Is there a garage? Are there flowers? Are there flowers? Is there a bathroom? Okay, let's repeat. Dear Chris, I bought a beautiful house. I bought a beautiful house. There is a garage and there are beautiful flowers in the garden. There are two living rooms and there is a sofa. There is a bathroom, but there isn't a tub. But there isn't a tub. There are two kitchens, but there aren't microwave. Tell me about your house. Is there a garage? 
Are there flowers? Is, is there a bathroom? Él dice, I bought, es el pasado del verbo buy, comprar. En presente se dice buy, en pasado bought. Es un pasado irregular, por eso cambia la palabra. I bought a beautiful house. Compré una casa linda. There is a garage, ahí marquesina. And there are beautiful flowers in the garden. Y hay flores bonitas en el jardín. There are two living rooms. Hay dos salas. And there is a sofa. Y hay un sofá. There is a bathroom. But there is a tub. Hay baño, pero no hay bañera. There are two kitchens. Hay dos cocinas. But there are a microwave. Pero no hay microwave. Microwaves. Excuse me. But there are in microwaves. No hay, no hay microondas. Tell me about your house. Dime de tu casa. Is it big? Es grande? Is there a garage? Hay garaje? Hay marquesina? Are there flowers? Hay flores? Is there a bathroom? Hay baño? Ok, vamos a repetirlo una vez más. Repite en voz alta conmigo. No tengas vergüenza. No puedes tener timidez, porque entre más timidez tienes, menos vas a poder hablar en público. Repítelo en voz alta para que sueltes la timidez. Dear Chris, I bought a beautiful house. I bought a beautiful house. There is a garage and there are beautiful flowers in the garden. There are two living rooms and there is a sofa. There is a bathroom, but there is a tub. There are two kitchens, but there are in microwaves. Tell me about your house. Is it big? Is there a garage? Are there flowers? Is there a bathroom? The homework. Vas a tener una descripción de tu casa. La va a describir a sí mismo en un párrafo. Pone tu introducción. Hello, my name is Alex. I have a beautiful house. Tengo una casa linda. I have a beautiful house. Puedes poner ejemplos. No tiene que ser mandatoriamente lo que hay o lo que no hay. Puedes usar ejemplos, pero para que aprendas más, menciona las cosas que hay. Porque al mencionarla te la imaginas. Y al imaginártela, te llega como se dice luego en inglés. Si trabajas con la imaginación es mejor. Tú pones así mismo. I have a beautiful house. My house is big. Mi casa es grande. My house is big. Y ahí viene con there is, there are. Para lo que no hay, there isn't. Para lo que hay, para lo que no hay, plural, there aren't. Ni si quiere decir que hay una cocina, pero no hay nevera. For example, this is, there is a kitchen, but. Usas but para lo negativo. Decimos but, pero. But. There isn't, but there aren't. Después de but, todo lo que viene es negativo. There is a kitchen, but there isn't a refrigerator. In the living room, there is a television, but there isn't a radio. Okay? Now let's see about the colors. Colors. Black. White. Blue, pink, yellow, red, brown, green, purple, violet, gray, orange. Esos son los colores clásicos, los más conocidos, let's repeat, colors, black, white, blue, pink, yellow, red, brown, green, purple, violet, gray, orange, ok, estos son colores especiales, aqua, foxia, silver, Brown, golden, copper, lime, mustard, 
maroon. Okay? They are special colors. They are special. These are classic colors and they are special colors. Let's repeat. Aqua, fuchsia, silver, brown, golden, copper, lime, lime, mustard, maroon. Este maroon aquí no lo confundamos con brown. Brown, brown, brown. El marrón es este, brown. Este maroon es un rojo vivo. Okay? You gotta be careful. Let's repeat. Black, white, blue, pink, yellow, red, brown, green, purple, violet, gray, orange. Aqua, fuchsia, silver, brown, golden, copper, lime, mustard, maroon. Okay? Para entonar, si es eh, azul oscuro, azul claro, en inglés lo decimos de este modo. Light, si es para claro, y dark, para oscuro. Tenemos aquí eh, rojo. Queremos decir rojo claro. Simplemente la anteponemos a todo, a cualquiera. Se lo voy a poner a todos. Light, dark, ya, yeah. brown, marrón, light brown, marrón claro, dark brown, marrón oscuro, ya, yeah. eso es todo, golden, de oro o dorado, light golden, dorado claro, dark golden, dorado oscuro, tan sencillo como eso, Let's repeat. Light black, light white, light blue, light pink, light yellow, light red, light brown, light green, light purple, light violet, light gray, light orange, light aqua, light fuchsia, light silver, light brown, light golden, light copper, light Lime, light mustard, light maroon, dark black, dark white, dark blue, dark pink, dark yellow, dark red, dark brown, dark green, dark purple, dark violet, dark gray, dark orange, dark cacra, dark fuchsia, dark silver, dark brown, Dark golden, dark copper, dark lime, dark mustard, dark maroon. Ok, entonces solo para aclarar y para oscurecer los colores, le pones adelante light para el claro, dark para el oscuro. Light pink, rosado claro. Dark pink, rosado oscuro. That's all. Al hablar de ejemplos, tú dices, my car, my car is light blue. My car is blue. My car is dark blue. My pencil is yellow. Okay? Okay. Lime so, is lima or limón, que es un verde fuerte. Aqua, mira el color aquí. Fuchsia, mira el color. Silver, brown, golden, dorado. Copper, bronceado. Mustard, color mostaza. Maroon, rojo vivo, como hablamos, ok? Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you so very much for watching this class. Thank you for watching this video and see you next class. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.